Thanks for clicking on this video. Please share it on Facebook or Twitter, whatever that is. December 26th, otherwise known as Boxing Day, is a fake holiday for real buttholes. Every year, the day after Christmas, backwards English-speaking countries like Canada and England celebrate Boxing Day, a day that has little to nothing to do with boxing. It's the Rocky Five of holidays. And like Rocky Five, it is garbage. In America, December 26th is traditionally a day for returning all of the discounted Black Friday filth given to you on Christmas from our terrible and misguided relatives. This year, I got a juicer and a 10-pack of New Year's Eve-themed Christmas ornaments. They are terrible. In Canada, Boxing Day is their Black Friday, only instead of tasering each other for a discounted juicer that your relatives definitely do not want, Canadians politely wait in line to buy discounted gifts for themselves. For themselves. Can you imagine all these greedy Canucks selfishly lining up on the day after Christmas to buy barrels of maple syrup? Or hockey? Or whatever it is that Canadians buy? Knowing full well that they're not giving that gift to anyone. Despicable. It's the antithesis of the spirit of giving. And it happens the day immediately following Christmas. That'd be like celebrating the resurrection of Christ on Sunday, only to shoot the Easter Bunny in the face on the following Monday. So if you're like me, the only boxing you'll be celebrating this year is the boxing Washington did on December 26, 1776, when he crossed the Delaware and boxed the ears off those stupid colonial douche bombs who were too distracted celebrating their fake sham holiday to fight back. That's the real deal this December 26th. Get it together, Canada. Thank you. Please share this video with your friends on Facebook, whatever that is. I'm guessing it's a large book that you face and yell your wishes at. Please watch my other episode on Santa. And then this book you face scours the country hunting down your friends and family. Please subscribe. Forcing them to view and validate your opinions. Is that right? If so, please face the book now and yell loudly. Please do that now!